Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is March 18th, 2017. And just a few days ago on Mount Etna, a very active volcano in Italy exploded, injuring 10 people. This was a very alarming situation. I'm going to go ahead and bring you this, this news report. And it actually has some video. And apparently, these were journalists of some kind. It says here, uh, 10 people were injured Thursday by an explosion from one of the craters of Mount Etna, which is currently active. Local sources said, and none are in serious condition. None of these people were injured very seriously. However, in the video that I saw, uh, one of the journalists was hit in the head, directly in the forehead with a rock, and it did lacerate his head. It says that the explosion took place on Etna's Belvedere near Nicolosi when the lava touched the snow on the volcano's peak, sparking a so-called phoretic explosion at the altitude of 2,700 meters. Now, I saw the original video information, and I don't think it's completely included in this video. I saw the actual uncut version, and as the lava was flowing downward, it contacted a large sheet of snow, and during that contact, that is what caused this explosion and at the time there was a camera crew and there were a lot of other people up there sightseeing and the camera crew was actually setting up and right when that lava impacted the snow it created a massive explosion which threw rocks and debris directly at the people that were there observing the volcano very very dangerous situation you know taking into consideration you're standing at the base of an active volcano that is spewing lava i mean that's dangerous enough and then to be right there in the center of all of this when it explodes from the lava touching the snow and creating that type of reaction luckily nobody was killed now could you only imagine a baseball size rock flying at you a hundred miles an hour and hitting you in the head such as what happened to this gentleman you can see him right over here there's a little video clip of him uh, he was holding a piece of gauze on his forehead where it had been lacerated i think this man was not part of the uh, the journalist and the camera crew he was just an innocent bystander that was struck directly in the head but i'm going to go ahead and play this for you so you can see <laughs> This is coming from ABC News. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, that would have been a very, very scary situation. Just hearing that explosion, hearing that explosion would have sent me running. Now you can kind of see the size of those rocks that were laying there on the ground. They kind of panned by it real quick, but those rocks are, they're large. They're more than a handful. And during that type of an explosion, I mean, look at that. Just one of those rocks hitting you the wrong way and at the wrong speed would be enough to kill you. These people were very, very, very lucky. I believe at this point right there, I believe the cameraman actually fell to the ground from the explosion. You know, I'll be quite honest with you. I don't know what possesses people to put themselves in these types of situations. I mean, they, they know that the volcano is active. They, they know exactly what is going on. But 
Fortunately, nobody was hurt. I thought I would bring you this information and this story. I'll leave a link to this article from the Sign of the Times in the description box under the video so you can watch it and read it in its entirety. This is Scott from the Nibiru channel. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you keep yourself updated. And thank you for watching.